Thor's mother is, of course, the Earth. And she gave birth to him to protect her. Ostara is a manifestation of an Earth maiden, um, although she's heavily evolved in fertility rites, so she's a maiden or virgin in the, in the old ways, meaning she was unmarried, not that she had never engaged in any sort of sexual act. So, there is a saying that religion is imitation of your gods upon earth. And I had imitated a portion of Thor's story. And because of this, I had earned my place to, to say I am a son of Thor. And he has been with me my whole life. And I brought him into... He's starting to, to leave, <laughs> which having Thor in your head is like trying to surf a volcano. There's just so much power that just, it, it just, it pulses like thunder. Um, oh, so being like Thor on the earth manifests his agenda, his work, his what he represents. And in doing that, I have kept him with me and I have brought him into the order with me. And the other members of, of, of this order were very hesitant at first to uh, bring Thor in and I, I could never understand why. I think there's so much nonsense and total bullshit about him and the stories um, have been tweaked and a lot of his lore has been taken out on purpose. I'm very lucky to have been uh, introduced to people who know and have kept the real um, Norse lore and it has it traveled through uh, Iceland and it traveled through Germany and it was it was uh, kept complete and uh, the poetic ed Eddas for as much as they're nice uh, there's a lot left out and a lot changed and a lot that doesn't make sense um, and there's gods that are mentioned once or twice that are actually uh, huge in their scope and in their importance that Christian scribes purposely downplayed, and Thor is one of them. They, they, they tried to make Thor into like, sort of a dull-witted bully. They could never demonize him like they did Odin, uh, or even, you know, especially Loki. Um, but um, Thor is a god of the common man. Um, he doesn't plot or, 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 or scheme or, or uh, um, try to trick people. He wears his heart on his sleeve and he says what he means and, and, and he means what he says. To get this hammer, I had to go through a very, very serious initiation. It took four days to complete, but it is based on what we know now, or most people know, when Loki orchestrated the loss of Thor's hammer and Theron wound up with it and demanded Freya's hand in marriage to give the hammer back. The oldest story is Theron has taken the earth as his bride and he has Therm is, is the god of the icy grip. He is the embodiment of the endless, cruel, cold winter, or frimbrel. And he has encased her in, in, in its icy grip, and he will not let her go. And all life is fading from her. And Thor comes, which is her son, and he says, Therm, you are to let her go. Now you find out later, and this is stuff that also two groups do not know and so I'm really I'm revealing secret things here because Thor is saying it's okay 
Um, Therm is a distant or removed father of Therm. Or, or, no, sorry. Therm is a removed father of Thor. Therm is Thor's father, but a distant one, is what I'm trying to say. And he comes to Therm and says, you are to let her go. And he says, no. And so Thor builds this roaring fire in the middle of this icy, desolate um, planet now. Ice encrusted, and, and it goes to the entire ring of runes. Uh, and it settles on uh, Nothis, which is the rune of, of need. It looks like two crossed fingers. And it's actually a, a person building a fire with, by, by rubbing two sticks together. And while Thor rubs these two sticks together of oak, um, the last oak remaining that hasn't been killed off by this icy grip, Therm sends all his minions after Thor. So not only must Thor build a roaring fire, he must fight all the minions of Therm. And he finally gets this fire going and he, he, he rips the oak out of the ground and he throws it in the fire and the oak bursts into flames. And so he has this giant flaming oak tree that he picks up and he hurls it deep, deep onto this frozen lake, which is the heart of Therm. And it crashes through the lake and the fire explodes and it melts Therm's heart. And all the ice melts, and Therm's grip releases from his mother, and her beautiful bounty returns. So I did this story. I had to find a man who could challenge me, and I found one. He was six foot eight, about 380 pounds, huge. Um, and I, I stand about six foot three, about 265, um, of just meat <laughs> and um, and I had him call down Therm for a couple weeks and I called down Thor and we met in a secluded area that no one would hear our screaming and yelling and my goal and after two days we played out this ritual drama in the last two days I had to build a bonfire by rubbing two sticks together while he did everything he could to stop me, short of picking up rocks and hitting me in the head, but punching me, grappling me, biting me, kicking me, strangling me, trying to break my arms and legs, totally, totally fine. I had to fight him off and at the same time rub two sticks together to build a fire. 